Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. Today we are discussing parallel compression and we, I'm going to show you and demonstrate to you how we apply parallel compression in Personas Studio One version 3 Prime, the free DAW. But before I show you how to do it, I would like to take a few moments to uh, talk to you about what it is parallel compression and we'll be talking about um, dynamics and then compression and then how we apply them. So what is dynamic range? It basically means uh, an audio, a sound, from its lowest volume and intensity to the maximum volume and intensity. So the difference between them is the dynamic range. A lot of instruments and vocals will have different dynamic range. In a lot of cases, you know, we prefer the dynamic range to stay the way the um, instrument has produced those sound because that's what it will make it sound really natural. Each instrument will have its own dynamic range from its softest volume to its maximum volume as well as vocals. So the different part of the song will have a softer volume and then louder volume of singing. To be able to control and manage the audio's dynamic range of an instrument or a vocalist, we use compressors. Compressors will actually control so that loud volumes are um, compressed down, volume turned down, and as well as in a lot of cases, with any low volumes of the instrument or the audio, we want to bring it up so it becomes audible. In a lot of times in a mix of a song, different instruments, we want to bring some of these low volumes up to make it audible so it sounds nice and more uniform and all of the loud volumes you know, can take and control as well. So the whole song becomes quite uniform and all of the instruments fit in nicely in their slots, in their frequency, as well as their volume. And as with any processing, that includes compression as well. As we process audio through either compression or an, any other effects, there's always some implications that come, uh, come in. So those implications in a compressor would be that we start to lose some of the transients or the clarities uh, of the incoming audio as we're controlling it. So the attack time and the release time of the compressor will determine the shape of the waveform going out after it's being processed. So it can lose clarity. So by using parallel compression, that means we can have best of both worlds. So we will have the clarity of the original uncompressed track as well as highly compressed track of the same audio uh, being fed through and balanced uh, gently in there so that we have nice clear transients and clarity of the audio but at the same time we are managing and controlling the peaks as well as bringing up some of the low sounds or the low volumes of that track back into the original mix. So that's about what parallel compression is all about is keeping the original dynamics of the audio, but at the same time adding and balancing a compressed version of the same track. So now that we know what parallel compression is, let's go onto the laptop and I will show you how we manage this parallel compression on uh, Presonus Studio One version 3 Prime, the free DAW, and we take it from there and we can hear the difference as we use parallel compression. Now I'm going to use the unplugged project that um, if you haven't heard of, uh, you can visit my uh, other video channel and there is a playlist of it as well. Um, so we're going to use those tracks that previously demonstrated and I'm going to use the drum tracks to demonstrate how we apply uh, parallel compression to the drum tracks to give it a little bit more uh, punchiness, a bit more warmth and to make it a little bit stand out but without overdriving the rest of the instruments so that we can hear the drums but not overpowering the rest of the instruments. 
So uh, without any further ado, let's get onto the screen. Let's have a quick listen to our drum set of unplugged slow demo song. And we have kick drums, snare, toms, hi-hats, cymbals, percussion and brushes. They are moderately adjusted on the faders for the correct uh, or, you know, the values, but you can always play around with them. So let's have a quick listen. Um, as I would show you, there are no effects at all to any of the tracks added or or even to the main track as well so it's mm, raw as you can get so here we go okay so that's the drum uh, set that we are looking at. Now, to be able to start doing parallel compression in Prime, because we got multiple tracks for the drums, so what we need to do is now group all of the drum tracks together into a bus. Now, I have demonstrated this previously, but I'll show you again. So we just uh, right-click anywhere and then select Add Effects Channel which is right in the end. Let's call this um, drums, even though it affects channel, but we're going to use it as an auxiliary channel. And then we select all the tracks from the kick drums to the brushes. And then from here, we say um, we wanted to send it to drums. So now we have this effects channel controlling the sort of combined volume of all of the drum tracks. So I'll show you what I mean. As you can see, I can adjust the overall volume of the drums using this fader here. Okay, so we've done that part. The next what we need to do is create another one Again, another FX channel. This time, let's call it drums. I'll use the uh, two or, um, or capital I's as parallel to indicate that's a parallel compression channel. And normally, um, I wouldn't want to compress every instrument in there. We just want to give a little bit of punch and with a little bit of sort of warmth to the drum set. So, um, the what we want to do is use the kick drums, the snare, and the toms to go to the compression that we're going to use as parallel compression. Now, the way I do it is I'll open up uh, the insert and the sends, and then add a send to drums compression, and then do the same to the snare, and also to the toms. These are the three tracks I want to use compression on. And then what I do is I go um, hit see, see this option here. It's a pre fader on and off. At the moment, this uh, send that it's going to this drums to FX channel is volume is controlled by the fader. What I want to do is be able to control it by the send amount. So I click here so that it's pre-fader. So this volume here will have no effect uh, to what gets sent to the uh, drums compression, uh, or parallel compression auxiliary track. Same with here and same with here. So it will be independent of what volumes of faders I set for the main drums going to the main drums auxiliary track. The next thing we want to do is add our compressor. And we have the compressor on the channel strip. Okay, so channel strip on the drums to um, auxiliary sub. And we want it to be fast and we want to have full compression on. 
we're not going to use any of the uh, uh, low cut and we're not going to use any of the equalization at this stage and we're going to make sure that everything is um, the auto is off and the gain is at 0 dB so we close it off and next what we want to do is be able to adjust um, the send volumes until we get about minus 6 dB gain reduction so if we open up that so we can actually see it so we'll just uh, solo this one out we want to be able to turn that off so we don't want to hear the main drums we just want to hear the uh, the drums comp with the compression on and just enable noop, uh, a loop so we'll be able to just keep listening to the same kick drum and start adjusting the volume okay so that's if we look here the yellow uh, thing that's going down so we want that to be just there we go so that's just going over 60 B so let's um, okay that's about right you can always play around different volumes Okay, they should do it. And let's have a look at the the toms. I'll have to find toms. Okay, so now we have adjusted our send um, volumes that's actually going to the drums compression, parallel compression auxiliary bus. So let's have a listen to see what it sounds like with the compression on. As you can hear, it's got very heavy compression and that's what we want to do. So now we turn this one off. We turn this one to the 0 dB, back to its um, normal volume. And now we gently and gradually bring out our parallel compressed track. Let's mute it. Now we can actually hear pretty much all of the drum, in, uh, drum tracks, drum kit in a very high clarity, including the hi-hats and everything else, and really nice and punchy kicks that's coming through. And we can always adjust the sends to give different instrument more uh, or less compression. So like if we want less of the compression of the toms, so we can bring that down. So if we, um, this is just a kick drum, let's have a listen to just a kick drum. This is with the parallel compression on, and um, this is without it. Okay. Well, I hope that helped you out. That's uh, how I organize parallel compression in Personas Studio One version 3 Prime, the free uh, DAW. Basically, add a new auxiliary track channel using the effects and route all of them to that uh, auxiliary track. And then as you can see with drums, 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 and then use send 
to send it to another auxiliary track which has the channel strip running compression on 100% with uh, uh, fast dynamic speed and then adjust these two levels to get the, the level that I like uh, for uh, parallel compression. Well, now you know all about parallel compression and how to apply it in Presonus Studio One version 3 Prime, the free DAW. Obviously, other DAWs will have different options and different ways of doing it, but this demonstration was for uh, Studio One uh, Prime. And if you liked it, it was helpful for you, give me the thumbs up uh, and thanks for that. And also, if you have any comments regarding this video, feel free to comment below and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. That way you are always kept up to date with any new videos that I upload to YouTube. You can also visit my website recordingstudio9.com. Over there you can join in and become a member of my website, absolutely free, with no catches. Um, and logging into my website will allow you to have access to all of the files that you just uh, uh, heard and seen in this video demonstration. So you'll be able to download them and then apply the effects that you just seen, the parallel compression effect. If anything else as well, you like to experiment with those pre-recorded uh, uh, audio files. So um, that's recordingstudio9.com. You can also obviously visit my uh, Facebook page, Recording Studio 9, and you can fi also find me on Twitter, I guess. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, enjoy making great music. Cheerio!